Hello, my name is David Spates, and today I will be showing you how to install your Intex Spa. Now, many of you may say, Dave, why do I need a spa? Because it feels good, man. Hot tubs feel gooder than a mug. Now, the reason I'm personally making this video is because when I was doing my research, it took me forever to make a decision, and I was still nervous about getting this motherfucker. But I will tell you this, I love it. So I'm gonna quickly show those of you who are looking for one, how easy it is to set up and maintain. Well, Dave, how did this come about? Well, I was looking for a present for the wife. She always wanted a jacuzzi, but our yard's not that big. And jacuzzis cost a lot of motherfucking money, folks. This hot tub, spa, jacuzzi, whatever you want to call it, I believe it, it, it ran me, you know, between three and four hundred dollars. Was it worth it to you, Dave? Hell to the yeah! I love this motherfucker. I'm not gonna lie. I was never like a jacuzzi hot tub person, but uh, I think I spend more time in this motherfucker than she does. Now look, when you get it, it's gonna come in like two boxes. No, not like two boxes. It is exactly gonna come in two boxes, okay? One box will have the base in, y'all electronical stuff, electronical. The other box has the actual tub in that, that'll go right here. Also what'll be in it is this, and it's basically uh, like this bubble wrap kind of thing that fits underneath the tub to give it extra cushion. Why do I have mine already out? Because I already had mine set up, but I had an issue and I had to get a new tub. An issue, wait, 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 they have an issue. Let me explain. This whole setup I've been using for a year already. That's why everything's kind of dirty. And after a year of loving this thing, the actual tub itself had sprung a little leak, an air, air leak or whatever. Don't fret, don't fret, don't fret. Long as you keep your motherfudging receipt, and I repeat, keep your motherfudging receipt. If anything goes wrong, they replace it free. No hassles. Go to the website, fill in information, boom, they'll replace it. Long as you have your motherfucking receipt. Never lose your receipt. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install it, how to basically keep it running, keep it clean, no problems. And right off the bat, I tell you, I take five minutes a week to keep it up and running with no problems. And I spend a lot of time in this motherfucker. I will also show you some things that other reviews don't tell you about that you might wanna pick up. Very handy. Last but not least, if you do decide to buy this hot tub and can't remember where you find this video, just put in the instructional DVD. I'm gonna tell you the first thing you do is inflate the tub. Trust me. My hard head itself said, oh, there's only three parts. This is gonna be easy. And it took me like 45 minutes to set the thing up. If I would have inflated the tub first, it literally takes maybe maybe 10 minutes to set up. Like I said, one box is gonna have the, the base, you plug it in, and this is where the, the water gets filtered and blows the air in the bubbles. The model I have, I forgot, it's, uh, it's this. And it's the one that blows the bubbles from the bottom. I was gonna get the jets from the side, but doing my research, I, I found that I personally like the bubbles and the bubbles great. It's like, it's really powerful. You're just in a jacuzzi. So I went for the bubble version, not the water jet version. And they've got all different types and different sizes. The size is perfect for me and my wife. It says they fit up to four. I know it'll fit three comfortably. You can squeeze four people in it, but you know, I'm a big guy, so it's perfect for me and the wife. At first I was wondering, is an inflatable hot tub, jacuzzi, spa, whatever, is it really sturdy? The motherfucker is sturdy. It's not made out of like, you know, beach ball, plastic or rubber. Like this is some real thick industrial rubber that, you know, is, is very firm. No problem supporting water and the weight, no problem. Okay, like I said, boom. First box, boom, has that, the base. Next box has the actual tub in it. I know some of you are saying, Dave, what is that noise? Are you peeing on yourself? Uh, not right now, not that I've, I've, I've ever just peed on myself. Okay, well, I was young. Uh, that one time I was older. You know what, that's not important. It's the, it's the pond, my wife made a pond. This is our little cooling out, relaxed area. So that's what that noise is. Plus it's raining, which is weird. Well, why is that weird, Dave? Because Southern California, it doesn't rain. What were we talking about? Oh, hot tub. So, ugh, you got this mother, mother. You know what, you get your behind out of here. <laughs> Very simple to get out. <laughs> you, you going, <laughs> you going to get your. Hot tub. First thing you're gonna do, put this, this thing down. Ooh, that's dirty, that is. Ooh, I, I'm gonna have to wash my hands after that. <laughs> put that down, open up your hot tub. Ugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, 
Dave, how are you gonna inflate it? You just gonna blow it up with your mouth? Hell no. Your anus will pass out. It comes with this lovely black hose. And you use this hose, you plug it into the base, and then you take the other end and you put, you take the other end and you plug it into the hot tub. Once the base is plugged in, hit the power button, hit the blow button and it'll blow it right up. Just Here's the base, take the cover off and you'll take this end, the hose, the hose has two ends. Take this in here, fits right up in here. And then this, this other end here will go right into a, a port on the spa, okay? This is the cover that will go over everything. Your hot tub will be here. It protects it from water getting all in here, whatever. It's been raining a lot. So there are three connections here. One, two, three, and they go into the three connections on the base. This is what I learned the hard way. The first time, I didn't bother looking at the DVD. So I just tried to automatically connect these to the base. Very hard to do. If you blow it up, everything blows up into the right place and it's much easier to connect. Matter of fact, it's damn near impossible to do it any other way. Motherfucker, you just gonna defy me in front of people? The hell you are. All right, all right, motherfucker, you gonna open. One way or the other, you gonna open like a goddamn steam clam today. Yes, you will, motherfucker. Yes, I know my hands are ashy, but anyway, just to show you, this is where you're gonna plug, you're gonna blow it up. So this comes off, and that hose I was telling you about, this end goes into there. Boop, you put it in, it twists lock. All right, we got this plugged in, hit the power button, and hit the little bubbles button. When it's done filling up, hit the power button. Once it's full, you take out the hose. There's a little plug here. You close it up, you close the tub up, and that's it, it's full. Now you disconnect the hose, and this is the main hose, or the only hose you use to fill this up when you have to. Once I filled up this, this hot tub, I think I may gave it a little bit of a refill, just a, a, a top off, maybe like, I don't know, four or five months into it, but it holds the air, it's fine. And of course, don't forget to uh, put the cap back on where the, the airport, where the air was going into the hose. Because if you don't, and you turn the bubbles on, they won't go into the tub because there's a big hole right here where the hose is, or was. So make sure you close it back up. And this way, when you hit the bubble button on your spa, it goes into the spa. Now it also comes with a little pressure gauge to let you know like how much to put in there. I didn't use it because I already know that this is cool. But you get a little pressure gauge to test it to see how much air you have in it. You know, stay in the green, everything's cool. You get in the yellow, that's too low. Red, no es bueno. I also forgot to mention, of course it comes with a cover and the cover keeps crap from getting in and it keeps all the heat in. It's a very good insulating cover. Right, this is the top to the hot tub. It's an inflatable bladder that goes uh, in a cover. So you put the bladder in the cover, and then the same hose you use to pump up your uh, tub, you plug in there, put the hose in there. Same thing, you press the button on your base, the air goes in and inflates this entire thing. And then you put it inside the cover, that's it. But these are really sturdy. I don't even really have it filled up to the max. I just kind of like it like this. And uh, you know, you can sit on it or whatnot. Uh, it's not recommended, you're not really supposed to, but just letting you know, just showing you, I'm 270 and I'm sitting on it, you know, and it's empty right now. So, there's 30. Damn, Dave, you 270? Yeah, yeah, I gotta lose some goddamn weight. My wife be cooking gooder than a mug. I gotta chill out before I mess around and have a heart attack in this damn hot tub. Now, here are the only three connections that you have to make, that's it. They screw on really easy. And as you see, now that the hot tub is blown up, they're already right there easily you know easy to connect if you don't fill up your hot tub first 
It's a pain in the anus, okay? So now let's get this one. Like I said, my unit is dirty because I've had it for a year. All right. And you know, get it hand tight. You know, go, don't go too tight where you break it. It is strong plastic, it's not metal. And, uh, wait a minute, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Well, let's do this one first. Nope, because then I can't see what the heck I'm doing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, there we go. Ooh, I'm getting into the hot tub, baby. The hot tub. I'm not at a good angle, there we go. Mm -hmm. yeah, -da. All right, that's good. Mm-hmm. And last but not least, this guy. Mm-hmm. 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 Hand tight. Boom. Good to go. And then we just slide the cover back on that snaps into place good to go just need to fill it up i did realize i forgot to tell you that this entire base this control panel up here the head is when you get it new this is detached okay so this neck part comes separate from this they come in the same box i'm pretty sure but it's separate all you have to do is make one connection put it in and it has these big um plastic like uh bolts or whatever and they give you a tool to put it in like you don't need it's it's you can almost do it with your hand, but that's it. That's as far as connection-wise you have to do electronics and just plug it in, really. The the uh, control unit comes separate from the base, but it's easy to put together. And then it's basic. Um, this is for the heater to, you know, put your uh, your tub on. It goes up to 104 degrees um, Celsius or Fahrenheit, wherever you're from. You can just change it. You know, temperature up, temperature down. This is to turn the filter system on, the filtration system. I leave it on all the time. And little bubbles here, obviously that's for to make the bubbles. Yes, I know my hands are ashy, the hell with you. I'll also give you this little gem um, of information. Say you have it for months and it says error and a number, most likely overuse in time. Dirt has accumulated in, uh, in here and all you need to do is take a small screwdriver. Uh, and these come off easily and just, you know, swipe the dirt out and whatever. What, what's happening is, um, it's not really dirt, usually it's minerals over time the buildup of uh, water minerals running through the system and they kind of clog it up and you just got to clean it out well dave what are these i'm glad you asked one takes water in from the tub into the filtration system and then one puts water out from the system into the tub well dave yes motherfucker where do the bubbles come from well i'm glad you asked motherfucker there is a ring of air holes going all around the tub when you hit that bubble button bubbles come out of that motherfucker like magic they're actually very strong and kind of massage you because you know her brother's into massages. So now that you got your tub nice and inflated, you have to put your filters on. Yes, there's two filters. They go on the sea. There's another one over there. It has a C above it, just like this one here. That's where you put your filters on. They screw on very easily. Oh, I guess I should show you what they look like. Little cartridges. So you need two of them for your tub. Are they expensive, Dave? I think I bought a pack of six for 20 bucks, I think. But here's what they don't tell you, folks. But first of all, let's put this on. Screws on easily, just like that. Hand tight, you don't need to go crazy and break it. Hand tight, that's it. Put one on the other side, same thing. And don't forget to close up this. <laughs> because you want your water to stay in your hot tub. That plug is for when you want to take water out of the hot tub. I'm going to bring you guys back to this filter one more time real quick and tell you something. Okay, me and my wife use our hot tub all the time. Every Friday, all I do is take both of these filters out, take a hose, a you know, strong spray, and rinse out the filters. We've used the same two filters for at least six months. Dave, that's nasty. No, it's not. No, it's not. You rinse out the filters, and they're damn near good as new. On top of that, besides the filters, you get yourself one of these chlorine dispenser. Okay, a little thing like this. I don't know, I think it runs about, I don't know, six to $10. You open it up and it's for these one inch chlorine tablets. Put one of those in, close it back up 
and throw it in your hot tub. Dave, should you be handling chlorine with no gloves on, just your bare hands? No, it burns. So you got your little chlorine dispenser, put it in there, it stays in there, that's it. So once a week, I take five minutes, if that long, to take the filters out, rinse them off, and change the chlorine tablet. I use one tablet a week, maybe one and a half. I think the chlorine tablets cost me, I think 15 bucks for like, shoot, like a hundred of them, and I only use like one a week? Well, Dave, yes, mother fudger, do I really need chlorine tablets? Mother fudger, yes, you do. And I'll tell you why, I didn't know this, but once you fill your hot tub up, it's gonna look nice and clean, the water's gonna be crystal clear, you're gonna get in it, you're gonna have a good time, and in about a week, the water's still gonna look good, crystal clear, and you're gonna slide into your hot tub, and you're gonna say, wait a minute, this hot tub feels kind of slimy down here. Ew, it's called bacteria growing in your motherfucking hot tub. Get some chlorine tablets. Now, as you can see, I'm 6'3", the hot tub looks this high. Dave, it looks kind of small like a little rinky dinky kid. Trust me, I'm 6'3", 270-ish, okay? But once you're in, and it's a nice soft bottom, because right now it's on concrete, you want to put this on level concrete. But once you get in, folks, <clears throat> Yeah, you're in. 6'3", chilling. Now really, you ready to fill this motherfudge up. We'll see how long it takes in a second. But before I do that, I'm going to tell you about some accessories that you may or may not want to get. Now you just saw me sitting in the hot tub. And once it's full, you know, the water comes up to about here. I'm 6'3". As you can imagine, my wife is not 6'3". She does not play for the WNBA. Actually, she's 5'5", five five, but she's been telling everybody she's 5'7 for years. Don't tell I told you. And sometimes, she kind of likes to be up where I'm at. That's where this handy motherfucker comes in. Little hot tub seat. Can't remember how much this was, but if you go online and type in Intex, I don't know, spa seat, something like that, uh, you get this. Now, it has two options. You can, these are uh, the legs fold down like that. And you can sit it at the bottom of the hot tub and you know, it gives you a good three, you know, three inches or something like that of height. Or if you open the legs up, I said open motherfucker, don't you make me look bad on camera. As you can see, it gives the person a good, you know, five inches of height, you know. So sometimes the wife uses this, sometimes she doesn't. Like I said, we like to spend some time in our hot tub with a little drink and drink, some wine and wine or whatever you have, you, beer, whatever you want to have. A little cup holder and you know, it's got a bigger for your wine glasses or whatnot, beer, sodas, whatever, water bottles, whatever. And it just simply opens up, fits nice and snug right on your hot tub. Well worth it for us, we use it all the time. The seat, uh, sometimes, but this, yes. I love using this. But Dave, what is that dirty thing? Well, it's not supposed to be dirty, folks, but actually it's an air pillow. Like I said, I'm 6'3", kind of tall, and sometimes when I'm just relaxing and laying in the hot tub, I like to have this motherfucker right there so my neck isn't bent. Ah, picture the bubbles, folks. Picture the bubbles, picture the bubbles. Ah. One side is higher than the other. Ah. I just keep both of these things in the hot tub all the time. When we want to get in the hot tub, they're already there. My little air pillow, I just keep it behind there. Last two accessories that you really might want to get. The other ones, uh, if you want to, but these I would really suggest. One is a pool net. Don't need to be this big, could be smaller. But as you get in and out of your hot tub, unless it's in the house, you're gonna get, you know, grass or little things kind of floating around all the time or whatever. And this makes it really easy to clean your hot tub. When shit is just floating around, just get it out. And also the chlorine is always fighting bacteria in your hot tub. So sometimes when you turn the bubbles on, it's really gonna start bubbling, like soap suds. That means you got a lot of bacteria in there that your chlorine is fighting. And sometimes it can be annoying. So you just take this, scoop it out, that's it. I know there's some pool experts that are like, this motherfucker doesn't know what you're talking about. His pH balance and his PhD is way off. Listen, I'm just telling y'all what works for me. And we've been doing it for a year. No disrespect to pool people, okay? But this is okay for us. Once a week, filters, chlorine tablets, we've been good. Never got sick, never had any problems. And <coughs> we're good. <coughs> Last but not least, this motherfucker here. Dave, what is this? Is that some kind of sex tool? No, it is not, but it could be used for one now that I look at it. But uh, anyway, 
This is a motherfudging pool vacuum, hot tub vacuum, whatever you want to call it. And it's very simple. Runs on four batteries. Screw on like that. Boom, boom, I got my batteries in there. Yeah, yeah. And it's waterproof. And what it is, is you put the batteries in and as you turn it, turns on like that. And why this is very important, I think these run about 25 and up, depending on what you get. I got the cheapest one. Um, as you're getting in and out of your hot tub, you are going to get, you know, some maybe dirt, sand or whatever that's gonna be at the bottom that you're not gonna be able to scoop up with the net. Sometimes it's just minerals from the water, grains. And when you're down in your hot tub, it does not feel good to be sitting on a bunch of sand or mineral granules, it's not fun. Especially if you butt naked. I'm not saying that me and my wife are in the hot tub butt naked. I'm not saying that we're not, but it does not feel good on your legs, your behind, anything. And the only way to get that ship up is with a vacuum cleaner. I use rechargeable batteries, so I never have to keep buying batteries, and they last a long time. Turn it on, you go all over the bottom of the spa, you know, wherever you see dirt or whatever, and you get it all up. When you're done, open it up. Oh, ship, as you see. See all that sand from the last time I did it? But uh, it's got a filter, Ugh, take the filter out, you know, rinse it out, get all the ship out. And that's all, you know, that's all minerals and stuff from water, hard water, hard water minerals. And then once you rinse it out, which I will do shortly, um, put it back in. Oh, you just, you're going to act a fool on camera, huh? Okay. You son of a bench, you motherfucker. And there you go. <laughs> that is really all that I can think of right now. Now it's time to fill this motherfucker up. Let's see how long it takes. I just have a regular water hose and we're gonna fill it up. I will tell you this much while it's on my mind. Like I said, there is a top that goes over. I'll put the top on after I fill it up, after we see how long it takes to fill up. But once it's full, like the water out of your water hose is most likely gonna be very cold. You're not gonna be getting in your hot tub right away unless you're just crazy. Once you turn the heater on, and if you put it on high to 104, we keep ours on 104 the whole time. It's beautiful. I had to get used to it. My wife, she can jump right into 104. Me, it's like, ah, 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 it hurts. But women, obviously were born in hell, so they can take these hot temperatures with no problem. I, it takes me a little while to slow to get in there and adjust. Guys, don't make the mistake I did. I kept doing that for months, like, ah, ah, ooh, like Bugs Bunny in the cartoon, ah, ah, ah. Just jump right in, just jump right in. You're gonna feel like you're gonna have a heart attack for about two seconds, and then it's gonna feel good. Anyway, this thing warms up the water temperature about, I'd say around two degrees per hour. So basically, once you fill it up, it's probably gonna take a good 24 hours for it to be 104. Mind you, I live in California, but it does get chilly at night, and I filled this thing up when it's been like 50 degrees, and it took about a day for it to be 104. Let you know this too, when you turn the air bubbles on, it has an automatic 30 minute timer. It goes off in 30 minutes. Now you can hit it again and go for another 30 minutes if you want to, but automatically the air bubbles go off at 30 minutes because they recommend you don't be in a hot tub more than 30 minutes. Shit. Oh, 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 something else we learned. Okay, once you got your chlorine in and everything or whatever, and you want to get in the hot tub, I would recommend when you take the top off, hit your bubbles for like a good two, three minutes because that chlorine is trapped underneath the top of the hot tub. And once you turn the bubbles on, you know, there's, there's kind of a small little cloud of chlorine that comes up. You don't want to be in your hot tub breathing that shit. It's not, it's not fun. Can't be good for your lungs and your eyes will start burning. But if you just let it go for like two minutes with nobody in the hot tub, you know, while you're putting your towels up or getting your little drinks or whatever, two minutes, you're good to go. That's a little tip for me to you. Also, this is a goddamn long infomercial. You motherfuckers owe me. On a cold night, really any night, but on a cold night, if you get in, you turn the bubbles on, in a half hour, the temperature's gonna go from about 104 to like 98, 97 in a half hour, okay? If you don't turn the bubbles on and just sit in the hot tub in the hot water, it stays hot. A half hour might go down one degree, maybe two degrees. Like, you know, it'll stay. It usually stays at whatever temperature the water is as long as you don't put the bubbles on, but the bubbles feel so good. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, they cool. They cool. <clears throat> That's all I can think of right now. So let's see how long it takes to fill this motherfucker up. I don't want to sit out here for five hours. I don't know how long it's going to take. Holding a water hose. So I'm going to stack this heavy motherfucker up on top of a water hose, point it in and let it go.
It took 40 minutes to fill the hot tub up with just regular water pressure at 24 PSI. I don't know how many damn PSI it was. I'm joking. It's a water hose. Whatever the normal rate of water coming from a normal water hose in Los Angeles, that's, that's how much came out. PSI. Who do I look like? Bill, not a science guy? Now all you got to do now is turn it on and get it hot. First thing you do, hit the little power button. Hit the beep. Green light on. You know there's power to the base. Start your filter system. Boom, there you go. Now the filter's on. Water's going in and out. Get nice and clean for you. Filter. Because you got your filters going, you got your chlorine. Good to go. But Dave, yes, motherfucker, is it getting hot? No, it's not. It won't get hot until you hit the little flame fire button. That means hot, because fire is hot. Hit that guy, see the little flame light up? You know you're good. Green light on the filter button, on the filter symbol, on, you know your filter's on. Little flame lit up. Heat is on. In case you're scared you forgot to turn your filter on, if you turn on your heat, it automatically turns on the filter, so you're good to go. Let me tell you something I learned. Now, if your power goes out at your house, or you unplug this unit for whatever reason, and you plug it back up, and you see that button, you think you're good to go, wrong, wrong. It just means that there's power to the unit, but once the power is cut for whatever reason, then the filter goes off and the heat goes off. You have to turn those back on if you want them on. I keep my filter and flame on 24 seven because I could get in at any time with or without clothes. Too much information. But Dave, yes, motherfucker, where are the bubbles? I'm glad you asked, motherfucker. To get your hot tub slash jacuzzi slash inflatable spa popping, all you need to do is hit the little bubble button. Shake it, bubble, shake it, 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 shake it, shake, it, shake, it, shake, it, shake it. That's really it to it, folks. Now I'm gonna put the top on. They say don't have the top on your tub while your bubbles are going. Take your cover, throw it on your tub. Excuse me, my top, my cover is a little dirty because it's been raining and all that stuff. If you have little kids and stuff like that, there are safety straps to lock this thing down. Keep your critters out or your youngins. And that's it, folks. So I hope I was helpful. Cause I told you motherfuckers about everything that I know and can think of. I hope my review was helpful to you. Until next time, I am David Spates. Bye bye.